Okay, so I wanted to show you the boiler drain valve, but it's too difficult to film inside a vehicle with the camera and the dock underneath the bench. So I've done one on the table to show you instead so we can see it more clearly. So this will be screwed to the floor in your moto. It'll be under a bench or under a bed somewhere. <clears throat> Easily identifiable by the blue diamond shaped knob at the top. And that'll be water pipes connected to there. So this is in the closed position, so running position for your, your water system working. When you want to drain it down for the winter, or because you're going to leave it for a long period of time, obviously you empty your tanks from outside by opening the fresh tank and the waste tank taps. You come inside, make sure your water pump's not switched on, and then you turn all the taps to the on position, fully open, halfway between hot and cold, so the shower, the basin and the sink. And then you locate this thing this will be, as I say, under a bed or under a bench. And you just turn this knob for uh, 90 degrees on the top. Doesn't matter which way, either that way or that way, just so that it does that. And you get that nice clunk and this button sticks out. When it's like that, that's in the opening position. So the water that's currently in the boiler will now be pouring out of this pipe with a, a clear plastic tube about that long. And that'll be pouring out onto the floor underneath the motorhome. And because your taps are open, air will be able to get sucked in to displace the water so it'll all go. It can take a good 15 minutes or so because there's quite a lot of water and it's only gravity that's emptying it. And you can see how small the pipe is, the diameter of that pipe. So a 15 minute job really. When it's finished pouring out, just to be on the safe side and make sure there's no water trapped in there. Leave this open, leave all the taps open and run the pump for 20, 30 seconds, something like that, and then turn it off again so you don't damage the pump. That'll just push the last bit out, get the water out of the impeller, and then leave it like that until you're next ready to prime it back up again. When you're ready to prime it up, uh, you turn your taps to the closed position outside, the waste tank and the fresh tank taps, close those, fill your tank back up with water, then come inside the motorhome, turn this knob back like that, and then physically pop the button back in and it will stay flush like that. And then turn one of your taps to the on position, leave the others in the off position, turn the pump on and it'll prime itself, it'll fill the boiler and then the water will work its way through until it's coming out of the taps. It'll be um, frothy and bubbles and everything to start with as the air's coming through, but once it's running nice and smooth, that's showing you that all the air's come through. So you repeat the procedure with the next tap and then the next tap on hot and cold or one at a time until you've done it on all three taps on hot and cold. And then in some vans, uh, you'll have to flush the toilet as well. It depends whether you've got a separate filler for your toilet or whether it takes it from the main system. So to be on the safe side, because I don't know which van you've got, flush the toilet as well, just to make sure. And then you're up and running again. So that's the basics of it. Um, just as a secondary thing to help you out, if you've forgotten to drain it down and it's dropped cold and you've left water in it, if the internal temperature of the van gets too cold, this button will pop out by itself. The knob on the top won't turn, it'll just pop the button out and that will dump the water out of the boiler to protect the boiler from freezing damage. Don't rely on it and just leave it to do it itself because it, all your taps would be in the closed position and you'd end up with water trapped elsewhere in the system. So you could still have damage to pipes and taps and things, but it would most likely protect the boiler from expansion and freezing up. Uh, if it does that, you just pop it back in again, prime it back up again. That's about it really.